over the years when something is called prefab, it's usually a put down, so it's no surprise that prefab houses get a bad rap. But here's a surprise. Many beautiful, sophisticated homes are now being built in factories, and architects are embracing the idea. When you think of prefab houses, you may picture inexpensive cookie cutter homes. Well, that was then. And this is now. Over the last three to five years, prefab homes have completely changed. They've become much more highly designed by architects. I think a lot of people are surprised at some of the prefab homes that are getting built. Very high quality, very good design. Robert Luntz and his partner, Joe Tanney, are just two of a growing number of architects building sleek, stylish, prefabricated houses. We're still missing here is an actual roof piece that connects. Connection across. We've developed a system of design where we have modules of use that can be reconfigured in different ways. By creating flexible designs that use prefabricated building methods, Luntz says he's able to keep costs down. Prefabricated homes are more affordable because a major component of the home is built in a factory with very controlled labor and product costs. The sections of the home are constructed in either panels or modules. The parts are then transported to the building site and assembled. On site, the work can be done very quickly. The house is set literally in one day. I think depending on location, one could expect to save a good 25 to 30 percent and probably six months or more in time going with a prefab house. Lunt says that prefabrication has helped bring homes like these within reach of the masses. I don't feel there's any reason that somebody should be living in a cookie cutter home when a highly designed, architect designed home is available to them.